Well, would you please stand for the playing of the Barbados National Anthem? In plenty and in time of need, when this fair land was young, our brave forefathers sowed the seed from which our pride is sprung. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can have a seat. My name is Dr. Rashida Daisley, and I'll be your master of ceremonies for today. The Honorable Dr. Jerome Walcott, Minister of Health and Wellness, His Excellency, the Most Honorable Anthony Gabby, the Mighty Gabby, Sir Trevor Hassel, President of the Healthy Caribbean Coalition, Mr. Dwight Mosley, President of the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Barbados, Dr. Amalia Derego, PAHO and WHO representative for Barbados and the OECS. Dr. Lisa McLean Trotman, Communications for Development Specialists for the UNICEF. Professor Anne St. John, Chairman of the Barbados Childhood Obesity Prevention Coalition. Government officials, members of the Board of the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Barbados, members of the Barbados Childhood Obesity Prevention Coalition, specially invited guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, welcome today to our mass media campaign launch. Good morning once again. This mass media campaign launch is titled The Right to Information, Give Us Warning Labels. Over the next six weeks, the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Barbados and the Barbados Childhood Obesity Prevention Coalition will initiative what we see as a national movement towards the implementation of octagonal front of package warning labels here in Barbados. A movement that we hope Barbados will champion across the CARICOM region. Barbados has been among the countries that are the forefront of implementing policies that seek to protect our children and the overall population against the fight against obesity and other non-communicable diseases. Front of package warning labels is one of the most important policies that will support currently implemented policies such as the school nutrition policy as well as the sugar sweetened beverage tax. Today's event will not simply just launch our campaign, but it seeks to make clear why we are calling not only for any label, but for octagonal warning labels. So we invite you to join in the fight with us today. To begin, I'll invite Mr. Dwight Mosley, the president of the Heart and Stroke Foundation, to give our welcoming remarks. Mr. Mosley. Protocols haven't been established. Good morning, everyone. It is my honor and privilege to welcome you all to this historic mass media campaign launch today. When I first saw the slogan chosen for the campaign, I smiled. 
I thought to myself, we are getting to the meat of one of the issues which has plagued this nation, this region, and the world for centuries, that being lack of information and transparency. The campaign slogan reads, the right to information, give us warning labels. With 75% of Barbadians supporting front of package warning labels and the rest of the Caribbean following along swiftly, the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Barbados and our partners stand steadfastly behind the implementation of front of package warning labels. You may ask yourself, why, are, why is there such a dramatic growth in support of front of package warning labels? The simple answer is that persons are becoming more aware of the consequences of unhealthy living. You can blame technology and more specifically the internet. Honestly, persons are becoming more knowledgeable and as such are realizing the, ne the negative impact that many of the foods which we consume daily have on our lives and the lives of our children. Our people are realizing that 80% of deaths in Barbados are caused by non-communicable diseases. Our people are realizing that 31% of our children are obese. And one in every Barbadian are, di are, are diabetics. And let me repeat those numbers. 80% of deaths in Barbados are caused by NCDs. 31% of our children are obese, and one in every five Barbadians are diabetics. Um, for Mr. Minister, you, uh, this, one might, this one is one you might know. Our people are also realizing that six to four plus million dollars is spent annually to treat cardiovascular disease and diabetes. These results are staggering, and our people have had enough. I've often heard it repeated that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And thankfully, it is not too late for us as a people. However, the work must start now. A simple change, such as publishing warning labels on food items, can lead to healthier food choices being made by our people, which in turn will contribute to a lifetime of good health and happiness. Let us not procrastinate on this issue. My people, Clearly, the time has come for us to put people before our profit. The time has come for us to charter a path for a better tomorrow. The time has come for us to implement these front of package warning labels. The Heart and Stroke Foundation of Barbados, along with our partners, the Healthy Caribbean Coalition, the Pan American Health Organization, the United Nations Children Fund, the Caribbean Institute for Health um, research and the Barbados Childhood Obesity and Prevention Coalition all stand in unison on the implementation of front of package warning label. And we ask you to join us as we strive to create a better tomorrow for our people, for a better Barbados, for a better Caribbean, and a better world. Again, I warmly welcome you all, and I ask that you please continue to support our campaign to implement front of package warning labels. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for those wonderful sentiments. And I'd like to echo um, the words that you would have said, just ensuring that we understand the reason that we're here today is to protect our people. And as you said, to make a better tomorrow for Barbados. Um, in my protocol list, I omitted um, to acknowledge the president of the chief um, medical officer um, who is with us today as well, and as well, Dr. Arthur Phillips, um, who is also here with us today. All right. So next we're going to move on to actually looking into the details of this mass media campaign. Um, it was actually a soft launch on October 11th. Um, some of us may be familiar with some of the information that has been on radio, television, in the newspapers, on social media, on our screens, on our buses, and on bus shelters. The campaign makes a link between the overconsumption of unhealthy foods and the development of many of these non-communicable diseases that we would have mentioned cardiovascular disease, hypertension, diabetes, and obesity. 
it really does tell a story of how Barbadians, including our children who are here with us participating, as well as parents, can be so persuaded and bombarded by the marketing and abundance of the ultra-processed foods that are available to us in our supermarkets. The campaign speaks to the heart of empowering people when it comes to our health and ensuring people have the information they need to make healthy lifestyle choices. So now we're going to see a montage of this campaign material. Thank you so much. It takes too much time to understand the nutrition facts panel, but we can quickly understand that 80% of deaths in Barbados are caused by non-communicable diseases. Without knowing, we consume too much those high in sugar, fats, and sodium, which can lead to obesity, type 2 diabetes, and hypertension. Especially now, we need warning labels on the front of our food packages to easily identify unhealthy foods. Let's continue to put our people's health first. Give us octagonal warning labels. A message from the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Barbados and Partners. too much time to understand the nutrition facts panel but we can quickly understand that 80 percent of deaths in barbados are caused by non-communicable diseases without knowing we consume too much those high in sugar fats and sodium which can lead to obesity type 2 diabetes and hypertension especially now we need warning labels on the front of our food packages to easily identify unhealthy foods let's continue to put our people's health first give us octagonal warning labels a message from the heart and stroke foundation of barbados and partners dynamo okay on Malik Garman. Well, I'll see you for a while. <laughs> so how, how are you ready to treat me? Well, it treats me not too bad. I know the sun was hot. I know you realize nowadays everything raining, raining, raining. Well, you know, I cool. I work in aircon, so I don't check for the sun. Okay, okay, okay. You understand me? So what's going on? Malik Garman. You cool? I good. You let you go on decent clothes? Well, of course, of course, of course. You know, you're beating the African outfits looking smooth as usual. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Oh, guys. you got to speak to people? Oh, hi. Cool. I forgot. You, you hungry? I was not outside just now in the car. Do you want to see two ladies pass or something that looking good with some food and thing? I feel like we could go and get something they have. You did not eat before you left home? That's not funny. Don't say what, what everybody laughing. Of course not. I did not eat before you left home. I want to ask you a question. Yeah, talk to me. When you go to the supermarket, mm. How you just make a decision? You just tack up with there, put it in the trolley, go to the cashier, we use it. Of course not. No, when you, when you look, it is not true. Wherever the cheapest price, it is going to tack up sometime and just buy it. I don't care what it is. Once it's cheap, it means that it's going to be sweet. Making sport or what? Dynamo, mm. wait a minute. You ever read the back of the label? Alf, I don't care about reading the back of no label. Once it's cheap, it means it's going to be sweet. Dynamo. Uh-huh. You ever look at the front of the label? I see front, sometimes I see skittles, you know, I see a little food. 
Dynamo. Yeah. Come here. Talk to me. Question. Uh -huh. Is it price more important than the contents of what is in the package? I, I do not care about the contents. Half of what's the ship, it got to be sweet. The most you can buy if it's too much salt or too much sugar. The most you get is high blood pressure, diabetes. What, what wrong? What, what wrong? You, you wish to repeat that? Dynamo. I, the Minister of Health is here. Good afternoon, sir. How are you doing? So, so, so you wish to repeat that? Uh, Good. So here we're going on. Okay. Know that it is in your brain. I didn't really think about that. Just Good. Say this. So mm -hmm. health is wealth. So it's important to know what is inside the saying. Health is wealth, but cheap, sweet. Health, no, 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 no. Health, health, health. While we can discuss price at a different time, we need to know what is inside the package. Okay, and you have a right to know that. Health, wealth. You have a right to know health, that. Health, wealth. No, good. Mm -hmm. A woman near Francine gave us a piece of paper backstage just now. Mm -hmm. And Terry come up with saying. They got Madam Francine, Francine, Francine. <laughs> Sorry, focus. You come up with something you had? I, I, I got a little. Let me try it. The right to information is we right. The right. The right to information is we right. The right. The right to information. The right to information. The right to information is we right. Again, the right to information is we right. He right. The right to information is he right. He right. The right to information is he right. He right. Can the girl lay above you must fight? This body is somebody. Open your eyes, don't shut blindly. This body, treat it healthy. But can the girl lemons is the answer for me? Too much salt, that's sodium. Saturated trans fat, no the portion. In your drink and in your food, we must know what we consume again. In your drink and in your food, we must know what we consume. The right to information is we right. You're right. The right to information is we right. You're right. The right to information, the right to information, the right to information is we right. Uh, again, the right to information is we right. So right. The right to information is right. So right. The right to information, the right to information, the right to information is right. The right to information is the 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 right. Stop. Um, could we get a couple children here doing this? Of course. Because it's their right to know. It's their right to know. What child for each school? What person? Because the right to information. I see the foundation people. Come, come, come. No, 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 no. This is not a just a seat. No, come, come, come. What person? Want the ladies come? Dynamo, uh -huh. I heard that the president of the Heart and Stroke went to Parkinson, so you better come here. Oh, whoa, come, 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 Mr. come. Mr. President, come. Y'all can come ask. Come. Yes, madam, come. I like the boldness. You can come. Come. This is and not I just sitting, though. I taught at Alexandria School before. Alexandria School, come. Alexandria School, come. Bring up somebody. Somebody. Because they must open your eyes and not shop like you. Miss Disley, bring she. Miss Disley. So Dynamo. Yeah. The right to information is the right. The right to the information is the right. All right, good. Good. So to get this in your head, right? What a come on, let come on. Miss Disley, more good. Easy. First of all, we got we got we African shirts. We need to got some rhythm, right? Johnny, Johnny. Everybody, uh. the audience, okay, let's do a little clap too. Everybody. The right to information is the right. You're right. The right to information is the right. You're right. The right to information, the right to information, the right to information is the right. Again, the right to information. I can't hear that. The right to information is the right. The right to information, the right to information, the right to information, the right to information is the right. This body, somebody. Open your eyes, don't shock blindly. This body. Keep it healthy! Oh, can the girl never the answer for me? Too much salt. That's what you am. Trans has the fat. Not the portion. In your drink and in your food. We must know what we consume again. In, in your, your drink, drink and in your food. We must know what we consume. The right to information is the right. You're right. The right to information is the right. You're right. The right to information. The right to information. You're right. We right. done now? No, I have. I don't. The right to information is it right? The right to information is it right? The right to information, right to information, right to information is it right? Okay.
So we now all know that the right to information is? Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much for that excellent skit. So now we're going to move on, continue with our program, and within the development and implementation of um, the, this autonomous front of package warning labels, partnerships have been critical um, to this development. So now I'm going to invite Dr. Amalia Del Rego, Palhoun WHO representative for Barbados and the OECS to give her remarks. Thank you, and uh, protocols haven't been established. Good morning, all. I think it's difficult to talk uh, after such an excellent presentation. Uh, um, so the right to information is my right. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased to, to really join the um, Heart and Stroke Foundation in this uh, amazing initiative. Um, the mass media campaign, the right to information. This campaign is our collective effort to promote health, well-being, and the right to access vital information that can save lives and protect our communities. So I am not going to, I think the, the, the stage was well set uh, by the president with all of the incredible data that we have uh, that is of concern in Barbados. So we know that NCDs uh, are of, thank you, NCDs um, are really uh, in, in probably one of the most uh, challenging um, health problems for Barbados. So in order to prevent premature death and reduce the incidence of NCDs, uh, we at PAHO and WHO firmly believe in employing evidence-based approaches. This is evidence-based. Uh, and uh, I want to, to acknowledge and, and recognize also the efforts being uh, done by the Ministry of Health uh, in this area. Last year, in October 2022, PAHO collaborated with the Ministry of Health uh, in the Barbadian food industry leaders discussing the feasibility and process of um, engaging in product reformulation as well as the implementation of front of package warning labels. We brought in experts from Argentina and Chile who show how successful these interventions uh, were. So there is evidence that this uh, interventions work. And at the WHO language, they call it the best buys, or we call it the best buys. So the warning labels, uh, as you have seen and you will hear today, uh, are really tried and tested. Uh, and they actually uh, are effective to produce uh, changes in the consumers and all of us. I think uh, probably all of, all of us uh, will have a personal experience to share. The theme of this campaign, the right to information, holds profound significance in our world today. Because it's the age of information. We saw that during the pandemic. Information can save lives. Uh, and also, the wrong information can lead to a misconception. So the right to information is your right, is our right, is the right of our societies. Health is a basic human right, and health, and for you to maintain uh, health, uh, you actually depend on information. So the topic is uh, right on target. Uh, I want to maybe share, uh, it's, it's nice to see the young people uh, mingle with uh, the, the ones like us that are not, well, we are younger every day. <laughs> <laughs> Moving there, uh, last week we were uh, um, discussing about the decade of healthy aging and, and all of the issues related to well, healthy aging start with conception. Um, so we are all uh, conscious of that. And maybe because we have young people and of all ages, uh, also I would like to share a personal experience. Because sometimes when we talk about uh, these uh, interventions, we see that as something that, okay, maybe is effective, not effective, is foreign. 
So 10 years ago, I was really uh, challenged by managing my weight. I was uh, with maybe 20 pounds over my normal weight. I did everything I could. I was really uh, uh, working hard because in my family I have diabetes, I have hypertension, and um, it's not that I was eating a lot. So I didn't know what to do. So I started to actually watch what I eat. And I joined Weight Watchers and I got this app that I downloaded in my phone. And every time I will go to the supermarket, the app has an, 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 a scanning feature that I will go and scan. And then the app will give me the exact information and the warnings. And I, I started to see, oh my God, it, it, may, it does make a difference. And so, uh, you know, it's a, a change. I lost 20 pounds. Um, and you know I'm short, so. <laughs> Uh, and and uh, now I am very good with my, my, my health, um, uh, um, all of my health issues, um, not, no diabetes, no hypertension, and I exercise every day. So a personal touch is important, and this really works. Uh, but of course, it takes a lot of uh, changes, not only in, 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 uh, in empowering yourself, but also uh, empowering communities and societies. So I, I really would like to emphasize the, that this campaign is not, it's not only one event today. It's a movement. It's a movement that all of us need to embrace, and we are embracing. It's a movement that calls for partnership and collaboration. Uh, so I'm very happy that to continue our partnership with the, the, the campaign and also with all the partners that are here present today. Uh, yesterday, yesterday we celebrated the, seven, the UN uh, Nations Day, 78 years of anniversary of the UN, and uh, precisely that was the topic highlighted. Collaboration and partnership is a necessity if we want to build uh, healthy societies, healthy individuals, and um, you know, health is not only a right, it's essential for economic, social development and prosperity. So congratulations, and I hope really that the campaign will um, um, expand the movement to engage more and more people in uh, reassuring that this can work and that we can really tackle NCDs and prevent this and also prevent disability. Thank you. Good morning, I'm back again not as a performer, as a core MC, And the task is mine to introduce the next speaker. When we think of rights, the first word or the first institution or organization that would come to your mind um, is that of UNICEF, because you're constantly hearing them saying the rights of children, the rights of children, the entitlement of them. Sometimes you wonder, are all these rights necessary? But they are, and one such right is the right to healthy foods, the right to proper nutrition. And Barbados, uh, for many years, has been a signatory to that part of the UN rights, the part that says that any individual between zero and 18 is considered a child, and therefore, there are certain expectations. Um, Minister Walker would have been for many years on that front guard promoting healthy eating and he would have had to interact many times with UNICEF because Barbados has good quality care for children and then with the Ministry of Education with the support of the Heart and Stroke Foundation push, pushing eating healthy at schools. So a lot of schools are also on the front line doing that and promoting uh, reducing sugary drinks, more water. We have a lady from UNICEF who will speak 
as a co-branding partner in this entire project. She's the Communications for Development Specialist, UNICEF Barbados in the Eastern Caribbean. By your applause, let's welcome Dr. Lisa McLean Trotman. Hey, good morning to everyone, and permit me to stand on the protocol that has already been established. I'm here to bring remarks on behalf of our UNICEF rep, Mr. Peter Bolt, who could not be here because he's currently on mission in Trinidad, sorry, in Panama. He was in Trinidad, now he's in Panama. So I just want to say, by start by saying, first of all, thanks, Mr. Padmore, for the introduction. And for UNICEF, we are concerned about this issue. Um, in 2020, our research showed that 39 million children across the world under the age of five were obese. That's too many across the world. You've already heard the figures for, uh, for Barbados. And we do believe that front of packaging warning labels, that they're one tool that can help in the prevention of obesity. For us, it's not just obesity, but poor diets also contribute to micronutrient deficiencies among children as well too. That's also a concern for us. Um, in Barbados, we've made many gains in terms of health, and we would hate to see those gains reversed by children having um, consumed um, obesogenic foods and you know, sugar-sweetened beverages that compromise their health. So as I said, this is a concern for us. And one start lesson that we learned during the period of COVID, which many of us would like to forget, is that those persons with comorbidities such as hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, that they were the ones that were most susceptible to adverse outcomes from any type of infectious diseases. And we do believe that if we want to build resilient societies, it's important that consumers, and these include parents and children, that they do have the information to make informed choices about what they choose to buy for themselves, for their families, what they put into their mouths. That's important. And, um, you know, research has been conducted in Latin America countries, uh, the PAHO representative would have said it just now, Peru, Mexico, Chile, I started to do some research last night, Caribbean countries like Jamaica, across North America, even in South Africa, which shows that front of packaging warning labels do work if they're simple, easy to read, and easily understood by the consumers. So there is the evidence. And as I said, at UNICEF, our mandate is to, is to support governments to ensure that every child realizes his or her right under the Convention on the Rights of the Child, which Mr. Padmore would have mentioned. And as he did mention, Article 24 says that every child has the right to good health. Now, good health for us is a pillar for every other right to be fulfilled. I mean, think about it. If a child is without good health, the child's right to education can be compromised. Think about the number of days that can be on the learning loss due to being home because you're ill. Sometimes a child's right to play can be compromised. Um, lack of good health sometimes impact on children's protective rights because children who are often obese or overweight sometimes become victims of bullying. Right? And this sometimes can lead to other emotional violence and other issues such as depression, low self-esteem, things that we don't want. We talk a lot about mental health and so on. And like I say, you have to see the linkages between ensuring that children have the right to good health and these type of issues. So the case for us is clear. If you want to build strong and resilient societies, it starts with having strong and resilient families, strong and resilient children. So we were really pleased for the Heart and Stroke Foundation again to ask us to be partners and to partner with you on this campaign, which um, calls for everybody to have that information so they can make informed choices. So we urge you today to join the call for front of packaging warning labels that would arm parents and caregivers and even um, children and adolescents with the tools to make informed choices about what they purchase for their children so that their children can grow healthy and productive lives and have the improved chance to reach their fullest potential. So again, we thank you for inviting us to be here and we stand committed again with the Heart and Stroke Foundation, the Ministry of Health and Wellness to addressing this issue. I thank you.
thank you so much both to Dr. Delrego as well as um, Dr. McLean Trotman for those wonderful sentiments focusing on our children. We may be wondering why are we kind of focusing so much on children in terms of obesity, um, but as we would have already been um, highlighted that 33% of our children are obese. Additionally, um, the statistics also show that children who are obese have a higher, significantly higher risk of developing obesity in adulthood, and that can lead to other non-communicable diseases, such as diabetes and hypertension. So today, focusing on the children as well as the adults um, really will help us to protect our future as a nation. So following on from the youth, um, we've heard quite a bit so far from the adults. Now, and as well, I would have highlighted that we're working to protect our children. Now we're going to hear from our youth. So the youth advocates, advocates are going to come up now and they're going to show us why this is important and our call to action for front of package warning labels. Good morning to all. Protocol having been established, I wish to add our youth voice to today's launch and our continued fight for health justice. In Barbados, as you know, over 80% of premature deaths are due to non-communicable diseases. One in three children live with childhood overweight and obesity. We cannot afford to sit idly by. We must continue to push for octagonal front of package warning labels for the health of our nation. And why, you may ask? Government spends a significant amount on chronic non-communicable diseases. At least 3% of its annual GDP and city-related spending is costing Barbados as much as 825 million Barbados dollars per year. Change is needed now. Determining which foods and beverages are nutritious should not be difficult. We need nutrition labels that are clear, visible, and easy to read for all persons. The octagonal front of package warning labels has been successfully implemented in across Latin America and is the best evidence-based tool we have. Imagine a Barbados where within five to 10 years, there are only a few cases of non-communicable diseases a Barbados where we have achieved our sustainable development goals. Just a few mo short months in June, in this very room, Barbados presented the world with the 2023 Bridgetown Declaration on NCDs and Mental Health. Let us keep this momentum going. Let us live up to these promises of a better and healthier Barbados for all Barbadians. Today, we continue to push for the adoption and implementation of health policies with the official launch of this mass media campaign, The Right to Information. The Caribbean Development Research Services conducted an opinion poll highlighting that 75% of our people are in support of front of package warning labeling for foods and beverages. Even more importantly, to reduce our burden of chronic non-communicable diseases, an overwhelming 99% of persons express that government must lead on this policy action. This rally cry was supported by recent data from the Pan American Health Organization. The research showed that implementing just this one policy can, of front of package warning labels can avert 16% of NCD-related deaths in Barbados and save an, an estimated US $732 million in healthcare costs. Note that these results were compounded when this one policy measure was supported with other health-promoting actions. While we appreciate that various nutrition models exist on the market, the high-in octagonal format has proven time and time again to be superior. In PAHO's research, consumers who were shown this warning label had the highest rates of collect correctly identifying products with excessive nutrients of concern, such as salt, sugar, and fats. They also chose health-harming products less frequently or not at all.
PAHU's or Tagino warning label is the easiest system to understand by persons of all ages and education backgrounds. If you wish for our people to be competitive global citizens, we must, we must empower them with the best resources and knowledge available. We must empower them with octagonal front of package nutrition labels. We know there will be challenges in this process. We have noticed the concerns and are ready to move forward towards progress. To keep up, businesses must develop more health promoting products. They must be people focused and not, mere, not purely profit driven. Already, more and more of our Latin American neighbors have embraced the octagonal warning label. CARICOM has the opportunity, we have this opportunity to join this movement and be pioneers in adopting the evidence-based best practices for the health of our nations. Our national anthem reminds us, we write our names on history's page. We continue to fight for our generation and generations to come through policy advancements. We've set ourselves an ambitious target and we intend to hit the bullseye for the sake of our people. Barbados has declared that it is working towards a 50% reduction in new NCD cases by 2020, a mere seven years from now. We already know what is needed to reach this target. We already have the support of our people. Today, we remind our policymakers that consumers have a right to information. We deserve a right to live healthier lives. Give, Give us, us all octagonal front of package warning labels. disrespect, symposiums, conferences, workshops, talk, talk, talk. When will all of it stop? Civil society is begging. Where the action is, man? Huh? Come from behind the air conditioned offices. Understand our fight. Proper health is a right. When this session done, tell me, can any of one of MCs let me know if we can get octagonal labels? Oh, no. Wow. She asked for any MCs. I don't know what Miss Daisy are you? <laughs> she asked a question. Daisy could answer she? You got to take it. She back and go out too. Somebody could encourage you to come and sit back there and enjoy your program. Go along. Well, at least she asked the minister for excuse. <laughs> <laughs> minister, she wasn't rude. <laughs> um, that's Shanice Wharton, who is part of the theatre group. Please give her another round of applause. <laughs> and the, the message is clear for all of us that the young people just tired of talk and they want action. So we're hearing their voice and we're acting on the voice. But after all the talk and the talk and the talk, it's important to know what we eat, what we drink, and it's time to get into the fit situation now. And there's a young man who's going to join me up here and do this. He's the junior monarch, Zari B, and he's going to come and let us know about this fitness. Give him a round of applause, please, our junior monarch. Our junior monarch. This one for the laces, let me get healthy.
A few exercises to daily start Jump to a size and even work please get active We're up in this pod Let me do some squats Get your friends and your family Let me start exercising daily Get active, get active, get active No, I'm reactive Get active, get active, get active Ease up your sugar, ease up your snacks So much junk food can make it get fat Ease up your sugar, ease up your snacks So much junk food can make it get fat Everybody can't let me be wise It's time to exercise Walk around and jog and skip Let me keep it, fit, 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 fit Get active, let me ramp on the spot Let me do some squats Get your friends and your family Let me start exercising daily Get active, get active, get active No, I'm reactive Get active, get active, get active Eat healthy, work up every day Work up every day Work up every day Work out every day and be fit, fit, fit. So let me get active, let me run for the sport, let me do some squats. Get your friends and your family, let me start exercising daily. Get active, get active, get active, don't be reactive. Get active, get active, get active. Thank you so much for that excellent um, performance. I know we're understanding that it's not just what we eat, it's also our exercise and our physical activity. Give him another round of applause, that was excellent. So now it is my esteemed pleasure to introduce our next speaker, who is a pioneer in the ongoing battle in NCDs, um, both here in Barbados, internationally and regionally, and for many, many decades. So I'd like to invite Sir Pref um, Trevor Hassel to present now. Thank you so much. Wow, what a fantastic event this has been so far. I am absolutely blown away by it. And I want, I'd like all of you to stand and give a big round of applause to the Heart and Stroke Foundation of our ladies. Thanks very much. This is, this is really a, a remarkable event uh, undertaken with the highest level of professionalism. Congratulations once again to the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Barbados. And so let me say what a pleasure it is for me to have been invited to make a few remarks at today's campaign launch in support of the implementation of front of package uh, labels using the octagonal warning label system and the PAHO nutrition profile model. A compelling need exists for Barbadians to have access to a food labeling system that has proven its effectiveness in helping consumers make informed choices. Such a system is front of package warning labels using the PAHO nutrition profile model. From comments you have heard over the last hour, it is quite evident that the health, the economic, and by extension, the developmental burden of obesities and NCDs on the people of Barbados is tremendous. The NCD epidemic here in Barbados, as is universally true, has occurred 
through a series of interrelated influences which include globalization, urbanization, and social, economic, and commercial influences, together with the risk factors of unhealthy diet, tobacco exposure, alcohol use, physical inactivity, air pollution, yes, linked to age and heredity, which then finally leads to the NCDs. And it's important that we understand and appreciate these concepts. The reality is that NCDs have replaced infectious diseases as the dominant cause of ill health, sickness, and death here in Barbados. An important contributing factor to the obesity and NCD epidemic is the consumption of an unhealthy diet, one high in added sugar, salt, and fats, found mostly in what are known as ultra-processed foods. And this is a term that I, I hope that increasingly uh, we will become familiar with, a term that I repeat, ultra-processed foods, which are really not foods at all, but products, but more on that another time. An effective response to obesity and NCDs demands addressing all of the underlying determinants and the subsequent risk factors, and for the most part needs to take the form of policies for it's universally recognized that public health change is seldom ever brought about by individual action. What is needed are health policies that are people-centered, promote and emphasize equity and human rights, enhance human security and human capital, and allows persons living with or at risk of NCDs to achieve their fullest potential to contribute to sustainable national and regional development. You know, several policies with these characteristics have been implemented by successive governments here in Barbados in response to obesity and NCDs. For example, the provision of NCD medication nationally at a subsidized cost, the banning of cigarette smoking in public places, the tax on sweetened beverages, the healthy school nutrition policy, and the recent decision to eliminate industrial facts, fats, trans fats, that is. Today's launch then in support of a policy that makes it easier for people, all the people, all the people, to avoid unhealthy diets, which as I pointed out earlier is a major risk for obesity and NCDs, is part of a menu of health policies needed in the response to the obesity and NCD challenges. The way we eat and what we eat in Barbados is an important public health issue. Food insecurity is a cause for national concern in a country where more than 60% of the, of the food we consume is imported and is predominantly ultra-processed, high in sugar, fat, and so our people need to know what they are consuming. You've heard this time and time again over the last hour. Front of package labeling using the octagonal warning label and the PAHO nutrient profile model is a critically important cog in the public health policy making wheel aimed at healthy eating on obesity and NCD reduction. And so let me make a few very specific and targeted and direct comments on this issue of front of package warning labels. My understanding is that all parties have expressed support for front of package warning labels. The reality is, the harsh reality is, 
back of package labels are uninterpretable and for the most part of no value for most consumers here in Barbados and elsewhere. The debate then is around which system of front of package warning labels should be adopted to obtain the best public health outcome. The public health community, the public health community, I repeat, recommends the octagonal warning label system using the PAHO nutrient profile model. Whereas the private sector will direct and specific vested financial interest favors systems of front of package labeling that have been shown to be less effective. Scientific evidence, free from conflict of interest, including a study conducted in Jamaica in 2021, led by the University of Technology, consistently indicated that octagonal shaped warnings outperform other systems in quickly, easily, and correctly identifying foods high in sugar, salt, and fats. And earlier this year, a similar study performed in Barbados also showed a very a significant and important public health and economic findings, and this was alluded to earlier. But you know, effective front of package octagonal warning labels using the PAHO nutrient profile model has additional benefits to those of informing consumers. For they also support the healthy school nutrition policy and the perception of unhealthy products such as sweetened beverages as a health risk. They also encourage the production of new healthy products and reformulation to healthier products and their support in nutritional guidelines. So let me re-emphasize front of package octagonal warning labels using the PAHO nutrient profile model is an important public health policy initiative, which when combined with the, and added to other nutrition related policies is expected to positively impact the obesity and NCD epidemic. I urge the private sector in Barbados and the region to not only support front of package octagonal warning labels using the PAHO nutrient profile model, but I also encourage the sector to use this opportunity to invest in your current and your future workforce and positively contribute to the health of our people both here in Barbados and the wider Caribbean by, for example, and additionally, reformulating your food products to make them healthier, by the production of healthier food products, by the establishment of workplace wellness programs, by contributing to public health education, by advocating for fiscal policies that result in the healthy choice being the more affordable choice. And importantly, by discontinuation of promotion, marketing and advertising of health harming food products to children. The time is now for all sectors to come together to support front of package labels and octagonal warning labels using the PAHO nutrient profile model. Public health policy needs to be led and determined by national ministries of health, not by entities with narrow sectoral interests. I thank you. Thank you, Mr. President.
This morning is indeed a morning where the pioneers and officials are coming out in support of this initiative. This morning is about representing the region's children and ensuring that their future is safe, especially in terms of food. A healthier child is a more productive child. A healthier adult is a more productive adult. Speaking on behalf of the government of Barbados and the people of Barbados, join me in welcoming the Minister of Health and Wellness, the Honorable Dr. Jerome Walcott. Good morning and thank you. Uh, I guess all protocols have been repeatedly established, so there's no need for me to go there. But nevertheless, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our members of the, I must identify the children of Barbados, both primary and secondary schools, and of course, the members of the Youth Subcommittee of the, Bar of the Childhood Obesity Prevention and Coalition. And of course, the skit that we'd had, the performance by the young gentleman, and all in all, the montage, I feel as though there's no reason for me to be here, especially after hearing all of you, including the president, and of course, uh, Professor Hassel. You have said everything that I possibly could have said. Nevertheless, I will press on, this being the protocol. I want to express my pleasure in being here with you this morning for the launch of your media campaign. The right to information give us warning labels. In this regard, I want to thank the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Barbados for your kind invitation, which has afforded me the opportunity to participate in this timely and crucial gathering as you seek to shed light on a matter of paramount importance, front of package warning labels. That the Heart and Stroke Foundation is leading this effort is of course no surprise, as for almost 40 years of public education, advocacy and dedication to battling the scourge of NCDs in Barbados and your unwavering commitment to improving the health and well-being of our nation cannot be lauded or commended enough. Your tireless efforts in advocating for tobacco control, the sugar sweetened beverage tax, and now the implementation of octagonal front of package warning label system have not gone unnoticed. And speaks to the important role which civil society organizations like yours can play. You, along with the wider coalition, have been instrumental in bringing this issue to the forefront of public discourse. And for this, I thank you. As we assemble here today, it is absolutely imperative that we recognize the urgency of the situation we now face. NCDs continue to plague our society at an alarming rate. The statistics are stark. In 2021, Barbados recorded 467 myocardial infarctions or heart attacks, more than one per day. And more than 50% of these heart attacks were fatal. That is, more than half of these people died. Similarly, in that year, 691 strokes, almost two per day, were recorded in Barbados roughly 150 of those persons died. Per capita, Barbados bears one of the highest burdens of NCDs, with obesity and its associated risk factors being major contributors. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, today's launch is a call to action that we cannot afford to ignore. The implementation of front of package labeling will represent a significant stride towards combating this crisis. 
I've heard repeatedly this morning that the Heart and Stroke Foundation recently utilized cadres to conduct a poll, an opinion poll. It revealed that an overwhelming 75% of Barbadians are in favor of the government adopting the initiative of front of package warning labeling. This apparent endorsement by the public underscores the urgency of our mission. A similar study in Jamaica indicated that the majority of Jamaicans supported the introduction of octagonal front of package labeling. That study also showed that Jamaicans' ability to make selections of least, less, least harmful food choices would be positively impacted by the addition of octagonal front of package labeling. Front of package labeling, particularly the high in, as we've seen this morning, labeling system based on the power nutrient profile is not a novel concept. It is grounded in evidence-based approaches recommended by reputable international organizations such as the World Health Organization. The 2021 WHO NCD Best Buys emphasize the importance of implementing such measures to curtail the overconsumption of harmful food ingredients, including salt. But as you've heard earlier, we have our own evidence. Research done by UE in conjunction with PAHO has revealed that easily understood front of package warning labels could potentially reduce NCD-related deaths in Barbados by as much as 16%, which could translate into tremendous reductions in pain and suffering and result in cost savings as it relates to the treatment of NCDs. This modern study, study a preventable risk integrated model, was the first of its kind in the Caribbean and will now be carried out in other islands having been done in Barbados. And it focused on the impact of front of package labeling. The findings show that apart from the reduction by 16% in the NCD deaths, that by introducing the octagonal front of package warning labeling system, it has the potential to shape helpful, healthful consumer choices. The researchers highlighted that the average salt, fat, and added sugar intake will be decreased, will be decreased both in men and women in Barbados if this was introduced. Specifically in men, salt intake would be reduced by over 34%, fat intake by over 24%, and sugar, added sugar contact by 13%. In women, salt intake would also be reduced by over 34%. Fat intake would be reduced by slightly more than in men, obviously. And added sugar intake would be reduced by over 16% with the introduction of octagonal front of package warning labels. Ladies and gentlemen, we must acknowledge that change, while necessary, is always met with resistance. Industry stakeholders, the private sector, have voiced concerns, citing reasons such as the cost of labeling and the timeliness of the implementation. While these may be considered to be valid considerations, they must be weighed against the immeasurable value of safeguarding the health of our citizens. We must stand firm in our conviction that the health and well-being of our nation must take precedence. Industries propose alternatives such as self-regulation and personal responsibility have been shown to be inadequate in pursuing, pers pers promoting consumer health knowledge. The front of package warning labels, particularly the high end system being proposed, have been demonstrated to be more effective than other informational labels, both regionally and internationally. We have an obligation to implement measures that are rooted in empirical evidence and proven efficacy. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has been an active participant in the BNSI's National Mirror Committee process and has been represented on the Regional cross Two Committee. Our engagement has extended to stakeholder consultations, policy consultancy, and knowledge sharing through seminars and webinars. 
we have consistently voted in support of the PAHO cross queue front of package warning labeling system, underscoring or unwavering commitment to this cause. As I close, I expect that this campaign will successfully promote the importance and usefulness of front of package warning labels and that your efforts driven by tremendous dedication will pay huge dividends in assisting all Barbadians to make healthier food choices as we continue the battle against the NCDs. Let us leave no doubt that the implementation of effective front of package labeling is not just an option, but a necessity. It is a critical step towards creating a healthier, more vibrant Barbados for generations to come. I urge all stakeholders, both within and outside of government, to join hands in this collective endeavor. Together, we can make a tangible difference in the lives of our fellow citizens. This is not a mere suggestion, but a resolute call to save lives and reduce the burden of NCDs on our healthcare system. I thank you. Thank you so much for that, Minister Walcott. Having the support of the Ministry of Health and Wellness is a critical um, part of this um, front of package warning label. So thank you so much for those sentiments. So, so far we've had an incredibly wonderful event here today. I've really enjoyed it, even as MC, um, seeing um, the policymakers come together with the children um, as we forge forward together to make a better um, future for our, our property population. So to close, um, from one statesman to another, today I would like to invite us to um, have one of our um, legends in Barbados um, close this ceremony today. It is my, again, esteemed pleasure to invite the Honorable Anthony Carter, the mighty Gabby, to close today's proceedings. Thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. Special good morning to my friend, Jerome Walcott, the doc. My neighbor, for about eight million years when we were young. That's right. Jerry, how are you doing? Good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming. And I wrote a song this morning, the brain is not as good as it used to be. One time I wouldn't have to have a piece of paper in case of emergency, but now. Dr. Hassel, how are you doing? Good. Good. So I have a piece of paper here that has some of the lyrics, but you all have to help me with this song, you see? And it starts like this, and we could go in and out as we like, because it's in extempo almost. It goes like this. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention. You got that? Well, let me hear you sing it after four. One, two, three, four. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention. In childhood, obesity prevention. Let me hear. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention. To childhood, obesity prevention. Everybody with me now. Pay attention, I want you to pay attention. To childhood, obesity prevention. Pay attention, I want you to pay attention. To childhood, obesity prevention. No, that's the first part, right? Then we got to go to the other part that goes like this. Let's slow it down a little for you. You shouldn't eat and drink as you please. That could lead to the disease, diabetes. It is no fun, it is no joke. Diabetes could then lead to a stroke. Eat properly, that would be fine. Not once in a while, but all the time. 
And my friends, if you do that, you'll be avoiding a heart attack. That's why you must pay attention. Pay attention to childhood. Obesity prevention. Man and woman, pay attention. I want you to pay attention to childhood. Obesity prevention. I want one of these children to come up here. You can sing. One that can sing. Ah, give it a big applause. Let her come up. No, look, let me tell you what to do. Okay? You see this microphone here? Put it right there by you. Let me hear you sing. Pay attention. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention to childhood. Obesity prevention. Let me hear. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention to childhood. To childhood. Oh, city prevention. One more time, everybody. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention to childhood. Oh, city prevention. You sing the pay attention, like you sing the rest. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention. Nice. To childhood. Oh, city prevention. One more time, me and you. Pay attention. I want you to pay, pay attention, attention to childhood. Obesity prevention. Ah, next one by yourself. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention to childhood. Obesity intention. Yes, one more time. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention. Yes. To childhood, uh -huh. obesity prevention. Give a big applause, give a applause, man. Nice. The first thing you part of my Pay attention. Yes. To childhood, obesity prevention. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention. To childhood, I come home. Obesity prevention. All right. Give a big applause, my God. You see, songs should not be sophisticated. It should be easy for people to sing. Because you get sophisticated, people start talking about how well-versed in the English language and all kinds of things. <laughs> we want that. We want songs that you can sing. <laughs> right. So you go again. I like this thing here. We mustn't eat and drink as we please. That could lead to the disease, diabetes. This is no fun. This is no joke. Diabetes could then lead to a stroke. Eat properly, that would be fine. Don't you do it any kind. And when my friends, you do that, you'll be avoiding a heart attack. That's why we must pay attention. Pay attention to childhood. Obesity prevention. Man and a woman, pay attention. I want you to pay attention to childhood, obesity prevention. Well, people all, believe it or not, we have to follow my friend, Dr. Walcott. He got the right things to say, to lead us all the right way. Uh-huh. You will be surprised, you will not be very, very, very pleased to know that 80% of the disease is non-communicable. Now that is real trouble. And over 30% of the children in looking so great. My friends, in other words, all them so overweight. That we must pay attention. Pay attention to childhood. Obesity prevention. I said, pay attention. I want you to pay attention to childhood. Obesity prevention. And you know what we could do? Pay a little tribute to Stalin by saying, one race Caribbean man. Everybody just answer me, say, I say Caribbean man. It's one race from the same place, Caribbean, that make the same trip. From the same ship, 
So we must have one common intention for a better life in the region for the woman and the children. That must be the ambition of the Caribbean man, the Caribbean man, the Caribbean man. Pay attention. Pay attention. I can't hear you all. Oh, BCT. Ah! Be coming. Come back up, my singing friend. Uh, teach them to childhood. Oh, me. Give her another big applause. She coming, she coming, she coming, she coming, she coming. One. Pay attention. Uh -huh. I want you to pay attention to childhood. Uh -huh. Obesity prevention. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention to childhood. Obesity prevention. Everybody, thank you. I hope you all pay attention. And I'm going to show the challenge. And Gabbard, I have a challenge. This young lady can sing. Um, you know the Heart and Stroke Foundation. Uh, you know a gentleman called um, Senior Minister Dr. The Most Honorable John Walker. I would like you all to get together. Uh, uh, there's your friend. friend your lifelong friend. So if you could speak to your lifelong friend and uh -huh. I know the NCF has a studio, uh -huh. and take the young lady in studio, and you could like put this together. Yeah. yeah. Are you that challenge, Gabby? <laughs> yes. Remember that the studio named after three of us, and I haven't been won. Huh? Remember the studio is named after four of us. I happen to be one. Yeah, yeah, good. So, so, so we can get that organized. So get that organized, Gabby. Yeah. Problem fixed. <laughs> yes, I like that idea. Yay! I know a daughter who walk at Lake Children in this fight every sentence, every sentence. All right, family. So, yeah, family. Gabby can go there, so no one sit down. He can forget everything he's at him and then make it back up fresh. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see, there was a time at the finals, Gabby wrote a song, sang the song of one way in the tent. Get at the finals, he had won. Gabby come off and said, um, Alf, you know why he sing it there and why he sing in the tent? I said, I know. <laughs> But the judges mark what they heard, <laughs> and it made sense. Now, it's my job to give what we call traditionally a vote of thanks, but I like to call it a vote of appreciation, because when we see a production like this, uh, we say, well, it happened, but you didn't know what happened yesterday, and, and the week before, and people scrambling to get it together, and how Dr. Walker had to juggle schedules in schools and things. When you see something like this, we have to show appreciation. Uh, first of all, I want to thank my, well, I want to say lead MC because he took it um, by the scruff of the neck from at the beginning. Dr. Daisy standing, be counted, ma'am. Thank you so very much. <laughs> now, there was a team led by Francine Charles from the coalition and her team. Can all of those working directly and indirectly with Francine Charles please stand, please? All of the volunteers, could you all stand, please? The crew, everybody, thank you, thank you. I know even yesterday I gave you some stress, Francine. Alf, where are you? I'm up by the prison doing some work. You're not coming down? Dr. Daisy just left. Francine, I'm sure we can make it. You sure? Yeah, just tell Dr. Daisy can be there with her this morning. We can, we can get matter fixed. Uh, Dr. Walker, we want to thank you so very much. Um, for coming out and again to have the government's stamp on something is very important for a project like this and um, also the representatives from PAHO and UNICEF and I need to say that these people work globally so for them to support a project it means that the policy makers would have had to say to, say to them look this is meaningful and they, for them to stamp and say look it is approved I want to be part of it. We also want to say appreciation for our international um, sponsors and supporters. Thank you. Thank you, PAHO and UNICEF. The young people were well represented by the youth advocates, Zari B as well, Shanice Wharton and Dynamo. And then we also, I'm he seeing here on the thank you list, there was um, 
a performer by the name of Alf, um, yeah. So, yeah, um, he's probably somewhere now, but we also want to thank him. The Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Center, um, again, always coming up and supporting of these ventures. New visual and acute vision done in the back. Fellas, thank you all for your support. <laughs> the members of the media represented uh, the Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation here, Barbis today is here. I think, is that the nation? The nation is here? The nation is here. We want to thank you as well for coming out. This is good front page story, by the way. Um, <laughs> hello, is this the good front page story? Oh. You don't have to put the murder in those who in the court case. Let them stay down somewhere down there. But this is good news story. Yeah, we're taking the fight to the front. You know, front of labels, front story on the front, man. Yeah. All the schools represented, and a school from as far as St. Peter. And I remember dr traveling from St. Philip to St. Peter every day, teaching there for seven years. It was long, but don't worry yourself. Um, I hope that your teacher allows you to go home from here because they have to go back to school. The Liat plane is waiting for them. <laughs> but no, you're going to enjoy the crew, the, the, the drive. Uh, of course, then we have Vital Strategies and the Global Health Advocacy Incubator. Uh, the Childhood Obesity Prevention Program team at the Heart and Stroke Foundation. And um, ladies and gentlemen, the parents and the supporters that I want you all to give yourselves a round of applause. A fantastic, fantastic morning. And I normally look around and see, once you see children nodding, it means they're enjoying it. But the children were locked in, and that was key. And we discovered some new talent. Do you sing, ma'am, otherwise? You sang at your school? In your class. So now you, you have presented yourself before the minister and before Paho. And before UNICEF, so that's, you're international now. You've gone global. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody, again, thank you so very much. Now, schools, this is what we are suggesting. It's not a must, but we would like you to take the children. Let, us, let them see the display booth. A rep from UNICEF will come and explain it. Then we'll form a nice um, line into the buffet area. And it's all healthy children. So we want all of you with something in your hand. Mm -mm, uh, uh, mm -mm. You ain't going to chew that door unless you take something. I like her. Say it again. Okay, I like that. So she's going to try it. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much. God bless. <clears throat> Mr. President, everybody stand. I don't know if you all want to see the buffet, the, the um, display, or are you going straight to the buffet? The choice is yours. Okay, yes, they're going to cross the checkout was on display there. It takes too much time to understand the nutrition facts panel, but we can quickly understand that 80% of deaths in Barbados are caused by non-communicable diseases. Without knowing, we consume too much foods high in sugar, fats, and sodium, which can lead to obesity, type 2 diabetes, and hypertension. Especially now, we need warning labels on the front of our food packages to easily identify unhealthy foods. Let's continue to put our people's health first. Give us octagonal warning labels. A message from the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Barbados and partners.
It takes too much time to understand the nutrition facts panel, but we can quickly understand that 80% of deaths in Barbados are caused by non-communicable diseases. Without knowing, we consume too much foods high in sugar, fats, and sodium, which can lead to obesity, type 2 diabetes, and hypertension. Especially now, we need warning labels on the front of our food packages to easily identify unhealthy foods. Let's continue to put our people's health first. Give us octagonal warning labels. A message from the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Barbados and partners.